for 100 years we've been teaching math like this. We give students a problem and we teach them how to correctly arrive at an answer. Despite our best efforts to create scenarios that students will eventually use in their adult life, in the minds of most middle school students, they just don't have an authentic reason to solve the problem. And when surveyed about how they feel about math, fully 84% of middle school students had negative things to say about the subject. In an effort to fundamentally shift the emotions students have for math, I've spent the past seven years building story-based games. Together with my students, we've sailed pirate ships and traded spices using ratios in the open seas, exchanged gold and money in an old west town, become rulers of small empires in ancient Mesopotamia by taxing the population and allocating resources, and creating fiefdoms starting with only 13 peasants and a pig. But of all the games over those years, one seemed to reach the hearts of boys and girls above the others. The title of the game, Ko's Journey, comes from the name of the primary character, Ko, a young girl who is thrown into an unexpected rite of passage in ancient wilderness after her home village is attacked. With the help of her grandfather's spirit, she encounters a guidebook left by her elders to teach her the calculations necessary to travel through the wilderness to reconnect with her kin. The original version of Ko was as much a piece of art as a game. Students move stone totems around a map comprised of hand-sewn deer hides painted by parent volunteers. Through months of effort, we modeled this aesthetic as we built the game into a first-of-its-kind story-based web application with a pace set for learning and comprehension. The design is as simple as it is effective in teaching math. Ko must hunt or gather to begin the day. With whatever time is left over, she travels with the ultimate goal of reaching the mountaintop and reuniting with her kin. To travel, she sums how much she is carrying in stones, determines how fast she can move using a graph in the guidebook, with heavier weights slowing her down. Finally, she takes a percentage of that speed and adjusts it based on her biome of travel, with the rainforest and desert being the slowest going. Along the way, Ko encounters many events, such as a sick wolf pup she hopes to save by mixing medicinal plants using ratios, or later encounters Luna of the night sky, who teaches her how to use the Cartesian coordinate system to find the North Star. Finally, after a series of adventures, she has a final task to meet up with her kin, climbing the great mountain to reach the hidden valley, a part of which requires determining its slope. For the teacher, each problem is crafted to align with NCTM and state standards, and includes a simple to use administrative page that tracks each student's progress and the content standards taught through the game. But what makes Ko's journey so helpful for teachers and students is how the content is delivered through purposeful dialogue between the grandfather and Ko, through interesting problem sets that require the functional use of a math concept, but primarily through a truly crafted story that increases engagement. Ko's Journey provides about three months of fifth to eighth grade math curriculum that students play about twice a week for an hour. But while it may not serve as the sole content, the results are compelling. The year we used the original Ko, our math score showed an 80% increase compared to the state average. It wasn't just that. The number of students nearing proficiency jumped also. In the following year, we more than doubled the state average score. In the game world, the repetitive pattern required to move your character adding fractions with non-common denominators, reading a graph, taking a percentage of a number, multiplying by unique factors, and applying the final number to scale in order to get to the next adventurous math problem may have had something to do with our final test results those years. But it was something else that I noticed had taken hold. The kids loved seeing math in a real story with human characters and a rich plot, where math made sense within the storyline. And both the boys and the girls loved this particular story, Ko's journey equally. It was about a rite of passage for them too. Teaching math through story has been as challenging as it has been rewarding. Having each problem imagined, scripted, revised, and visualized is a part of the effort. But it's the subtleties, the cute age of the wolf pup chosen by our creative advisor, the details in the character of Ko created by longtime talented game artists, the speed of the transitions between problems tested by our lead programmer's 12-year-old daughter that I hope you'll see not only sparks an interest for your students, but provides for them the foundation to learn quite complex early middle school math concepts. I hope you're asked by your students what I've heard so many times. Do we get to play the game today?